Hey, what's up, boys and girls, everyone in between? What's happening? It is your boy, Xander. I am back. I have returned from my sabbatical, as some might say, and I've come back because I fucking wanted to. Just kidding. No, honestly, it's true. I wanted this to be I told you so slash update video slash let's just talk about some stuff that has happened since I've been gone. I really wanted this to be a big video kind of about Otacon, but there was so much that happened with Digimon during that time frame earlier this month as of recording this that I wanted to talk about. I wasn't able to. I'm pretty sure you guys are, are wondering what my thoughts and opinions are, so I figured let's just hop right in. First things first, where the hell have I been? So I wasn't just taking like my regular con break, which I, I feel like I normally do that now the last three years. I'll kind of take off, go to cons, kind of refresh myself and then come back at the end of the summer. This time was a bit more dire. I don't want to get too, too personal. I was in a car accident last year and it it's it's taking a toll on my body and so i was dealing with really bad headaches brought on from stress i had to take a break because this was stressing me out which sucks because i like doing this and i had fun doing this uh, and i still have fun doing this so i'm glad that i i feel better now a little bit it's more manageable at least and i'm able to kind of like come back in and talk about stuff while i've been gone just like i said i've been to a bunch of cons i went to anime next and that came back this year i was really happy that's like my home con i love it i was able to do a panel there i did my digimon is not a ripoff panel it was great i absolutely loved it then i got the amazing opportunity and this is like such a crazy thing to be able to say but i actually did my digimon is not a ripoff panel at otakon i I was able to go to Otakon and do my panel. Otakon, for those of you that don't know, is one of the biggest cons in the East Coast. I was there representing myself, representing us, Digimon fans in general, talking about Digimon, getting new people into Digimon. I had that entire room full of people. It was amazing. And I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you. If you're new here from that panel, welcome. If you're not new and you went to that panel, thank you. You've been here for a while. You weren't able to go to Otacon. Thank you again. Cause like doing this is giving me like the inspiration and the want to go do this kind of stuff and go to panels and do that kind of stuff. And so I'm just really happy that I was able to do that. So I will play some footage here. I will try to edit it into its own kind of video again because I really liked the way this one kind of ran. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe that people actually like came to it. It was Saturday morning, first panel of the morning, 9 a.m. sharp. I got no rest. I cosplayed as Sabo. So I had to get in my cosplay with like four hours of sleep run to the convention center, set up, and get ready. There were some stacked panels at that same time. Panels that me personally, if I was up at the crack ass of dawn like most people were to see my panel, which again, thank you very much, I would have probably went to those panels. There was a panel for Studio Trigger, one of the most famous studios ever, I think. They've done pretty much everyone's favorite anime. Someone has an anime that they like by Studio Trigger. They were having a panel same time as me, okay? Industry professionals doing a panel and also a live drawing. Actual real life art being made by artists from famous studio, right? <laughs> that, that happened, right? That was happening same time as my panel. There was no line for that. There's no line for any of the panels. There was a line for my panel, my Digimon panel. Xanda, me, Digimon panel. I, I thought that was amazing. And a lot of people, again, that were in there didn't actually know who I was. And I thought that was fucking awesome because I got to, like, share my love for Digimon and introduce it to new people. There were people after the panel that told me, like, hey, you mentioned, like, this and that. Like, what is that? I want to look that up. I mentioned how Digimon Survive is pretty much like Danganronpa, but with Digimon. And someone was like, I love Danganronpa. Like, what is that game again? Because I really want to play it as soon as I get home. And I was like, oh yeah, it's Survive. It was amazing. I, I absolutely adored it. I loved it. I gave away a lot of stuff. So if you came there, I gave away some 20ths. I gave away my Beelzemon deck. I had two. I decided to get rid of one just to give away. And some other goodies, some other extra cards that I had. I was just, again, so happy. And it was, it was an amazing feeling because not only was I able to have that panel, but Saturday was a big day for Digimon at Otakon.
because that was when they revealed, uh, Discotech Media revealed that we're getting the Digimon movie in HD again, and I'm I'm so happy about that. That that that, that just still like kind of blows my mind. So let's just talk about that real quick. Discotech Media they they've uh, announced that they are not only coming out with the original dub for the original Digimon movie, the American one. But they're also redubbing that movie and I believe the three connected movies. And it's also gonna have the original subs for those movies, which is like mind blowing in my opinion. That's so much more than I would have even asked for. Like, I would have been happy with just getting the Digimon movie and that's it. But no, it's gonna have the original dub with all the amazing music, all the hilarious dialogue and weird cut up scenes. It's gonna have a new version with a new dub, possibly new music, not too sure about that one. And then the original movies fully dubbed with as much of the original cast as they could get. There have been a lot of uh, passings in the time between that movie's release and now, sadly. But they have tried to get as many people as possible into this dub that were from the original dub. Which is, like, again, amazing. I feel like that's, that was such a big announcement. And it was really cool to kind of feel like, like a beginner to that like i was kind of like the precursor to this big ass announcement and i feel like they probably did that on purpose and i was i was again i was really happy i sadly missed that panel it filled up immediately though and it was just really hyped to hear that like when it was announced like to hear that oh they're just they're just playing the digimon movie i would have loved to see that uh, i was sadly way too busy on saturday so i did miss that but i was again i was happy that they announced that and that was like really really hyped i thought it was gonna be like the 2020 dub or something else like that i had no i had no idea it was gonna be the digimon movie so so happy about that You know, we uh, we have the Digimon Dreamers manga coming out now in English, and apparently the English translation is not bad, which is great. Seekers, I'm still behind. I gotta finish chapter one and catch up with chapter two. But from what I'm hearing from people that have been reading Seekers, it's still really good. Very happy about that. As far as dims are concerned, I did pre-order the Ryudamon and Dorumon dim. You already know that was bought the moment it was announced. Don't you guys worry. I, I got that immediately. I still only have the version three Digimon Color. I'm thinking of getting the Bone White version 1 just because I really wanted that white one, but I want a version 2. So I might buy that one to modify it to make it into version 2 because that's that's a thing you can do now thanks to uh, Cyanic. <laughs> what else has been announced in this in this time? The Bug and Bird Dim are coming out extremely soon. I think by the time this video comes out, they'll probably already be out or about to come out. Did not pre-order those yet. I've been behind on Dim releases a little bit. I still don't have the... Uh, and Goromon and Jellymon Dim, and I'm kicking myself in the ass for that because they're discontinued and they're kind of expensive now. But other than that, I'm pretty much all caught up uh, with that stuff. There was so much stuff announced during Digifest as well. Digifest announced the CSA D3s. They look a little less ugly, in my opinion. I still don't think I'm going to buy one just because I still think they're like, I don't know, I'm not crazy about how they look. But they do look really sick. I'm happy that you can like scream at it and it'll like do the animation. I think that's really sick. If I have any extra money and I have a hole burning in my pocket, I will pick it up and show it off on the channel. Right now though, money's super, super tight right now. I'm barely able to keep up with the dim releases. So it's not something I'm gonna be getting anytime soon. If you if you'd like to try to help me out, coffee's in the description, Patreon's in the description, or you can join as a member. That could really help. You can also super thanks or whatever the fuck that's called. You know, you can throw some money in the pot, and if I have enough by the end of the month, I mean I usually use all YouTube money uh, to fund stuff that I show up on the channel anyway. That's something that I'm not too too crazy about or too worried about. The Zero Two movie looks amazing. That's still coming, I told you guys. Still no game stuff yet, although as of recording this, Gamescom is happening and then Tokyo Game Show is happening later in, I think, September. So those are two more options, two more chances we could possibly hear about the next Digimon game. If we're going to hear about it this year, it's going to be at one of those two events. And if we don't hear about this year, I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on with the game. And, and, and yeah, you know, that all happened like around the same time. And again... I'm just really happy. I'm just I'm just so happy. I was again able to share my love for Digimon in front of a huge audience and a completely packed panel room and just talk about Digimon and get people back into it and get new people interested and into it. That's one of my favorite things about the panel is that it attracts people that are not Digimon fans. And that's something that makes me very happy. That's That was the main reason for the panel. It's really supposed to be for people that like have no idea what Digimon is, like where it started, what it's about, what its brand identity is, stuff like that. 
I made it for people like that. I think Digimon is gonna be okay, and I think I'm gonna be okay. So at the end of the day, what I want to say is again, just believe in the fact that Digimon is not going anywhere. We'll always have some quiet periods, but Bandai always has something in store for fans of Digimon. And if you become a fan of Digimon, try to broaden your horizons, try to go out there and see the other parts of the franchise because they all offer something different, but it's all still the same thing you love. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Oh yeah, I got a haircut too. I cut my hair. It's longer now from when I initially cut it, but yeah, I got a haircut. Look at me. Skinnier, got a haircut. Psh, I don't know how to act anymore. I'll tell y'all. All right, seriously, bye. I love Santa too. <laughs> yeah.